This is Access 2019, Module 1, Part 5. In this segment, we're going to be creating a simple query using the Simple Query Wizard. So at this point, you should have already created your Lakewood database, as well as created the billing table and populated some data by entering it as well as by copying and pasting the data into the visit table. So a query is where we're going to ask a question or ask some information and try to get some answers from the data in our database. So to create a query we're going to start out on the create tab You'll notice that on our Create tab, we have groups for each type of object that we can create. We will not be working with macros in this class, but we will be creating tables, queries, forms, and reports. And today we're going to do a simple one of each of the queries, forms, and reports. So in queries, you can either begin a query using the query wizard or using query design. If you look at the query wizard, there are four wizards. They will use those by name if they want you to use a wizard to create your query. So they will either tell you to create a find duplicates query or a cross tab query or in this case a simple query if they want you to use the wizards. So for your exam you should memorize these four names and that will help you determine where to start your queries whether it's going to start with a wizard or a design. So since we're starting with the wizard we'll choose our simple query wizard and choose OK. On this first screen we um, first of all select what we're using to create our query. You have the option of using both tables and queries to start a query. So the, today we're going to be working with the visit table. And then it wants to know what to populate, what fields we want to see in our query results. If you use the double arrow, it will insert all of the fields. If you use the double arrow in the reverse direction, it removes them. You can do them one at a time. So if I add one and then I skip and add another, the once you add them, this is the order they're going in, so if you need to change the order, you would need to remove something. You cannot move them up and down once they're in the box. You have to add them in the order that you're given. So we're going to start out with our visit ID, then we're going to add to the visit date. And then we're going to add the reason. So we want three fields in our query. Then we're going to go to next. The rule I use, especially on the exams when I do query wizards, is I always choose next if next is an option because that means there are more questions to answer and if you choose finish early on it may mark it wrong because you didn't answer some of the questions you needed to. So for example on this screen we do need to give it a name so instead of saying visit space query I'm going to type in visit list. Now since Finish is the only option and next is no longer an option, you're safe to choose finish. And you can see that it created a query. It gave us the results. We do have the same navigation arrows that we saw 
at the bottom of our tables. We can adjust the size of our field. So for example, I'm going to double click on the reason that will best fit that column. When you use a wizard, it does save the wizard or the query for you and it adds it to your object pane. You can see that it gives it a different picture and puts them right now in groups by the type of object they are. But since I did change the size of this field, I would need to make those changes saved. You can change data in a query. So if I determined that this visit was supposed to have happened on the 27th and not the 26th, I can change the data here in my query and tab through and once the pencil goes away the data has been saved and it did save in the underlying table as well. We can sort differently. So for example if I wanted to use these buttons here to sort, I could. On the home tab of the ribbon, I also have sorting options here. So if I click on visit ID and tell it to sort in ascending order, you can see that it resorts. You can also tell it to remove the sort. So you can use those options to sort in your query data sheet view after it has been created. Any changes you made after you created it, you would want to save before you closed it. And again, we can close the object using the X that is on the tab with the object name.